Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the Garden School. In the last class, we finished the reading comprehension of chapter three in the workbook. Hope you all done with the exercise followed by the reading comprehension exercise A, B, and C. Today we are going to discuss vocabulary, grammar, punctuation, listening, speaking, and writing. Before moving to the detailed explanation, you can go through the exercise part we already discussed with the, the chapter three of the reader. Mowgli finds his family. So, <clears throat> so moving to the vocabulary part, match the idioms in column A with their meanings in column B. You can see idioms given in the first column and the meanings in the second column. You pause the video, do it and come back. Hope you all done with it. We can check the answers. First one, straight from the horse's mouth, directly from the original source. Second one, bear with the sore head, that is irritable. Third one, eager beaver, very enthusiastic. Fourth one, sitting duck, the meaning is easy target. Fifth one, get on your high horse, the meaning is behave in a haughty manner. Sixth one, put the cat before the horse, meaning is reverse the proper order in which things should be done. And the last one, bull in a china shop. The meaning is careless in the way you move or behave. Hope your answers are correct. We can move to the next exercise. Complete these sentences by filling in the blanks with the most appropriate idioms from the box. Try to do it by yourself. Post the video, do it and come back. Hope you're done with it. We can check the answers. First one, please do not remind father about the watch he has lost. It is like showing a red rug to a bull. Question number two, Sheila can talk of nothing but her role in the play. She seems to have a bee in her bonnet. Third one, when my neighbor found that the boys could not be stopped from troubling the poor dog, he decided to take the bull by the horns and call the secretary of the SPCA immediately. Fourth one, when the teacher appreciated Rohit's skillful handling of the problem, he looked like the cat that ate the canary. Fifth one, Veronica's announcement about a job abroad stirred up a hornet's nest in the family. Sixth one, Although the family had hardly enough money to keep the wolf from the door, they were always very cheerful and optimistic. Hope all the answers are correct. We can move to the next exercise. Underline the verbs in these sentences and write whether they are transitive or intransitive. Write T for transitive and IT for intransitive. Try to do it by yourself. Post the video, do it and come back. Hope you all done. Let us check the answers. Mother baked a pizza for us yesterday. Here, baked is a verb. Pizza is an object. So, this is a transitive verb. Next one. Red Riding Hood carried a basket of apples for her grandmother. Here, carried is a verb and this is also a transitive verb because basket of apples is object used in this sentence. Third one, I slept till eight o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Here, slept is a verb and there is no object in this. So it is an intransitive verb. Fourth one, Vinay plants a tree on his birthday every year. Here, the verb is plants and this is a transitive verb because there is an object, it is tree. Fifth one, the carpenter was busy completing his work before closing the shop. Here the verb used is completing and this is also a transitive verb. Sixth one, the girls were enthusiastic to participate in the music competition. This is an intransitive verb and here the verb used is participate. Seventh one, my uncle has been traveling extensively for the 
past two months. Here the verb is traveling and this is without an object. So this is an intransitive verb. Eighth one, Rai and Rohan liked the program on the endangered species. Here the verb is liked and this is a transitive verb because here the sentence is coming with an object that is endangered species. Hope all the answers are correct. We can move to the next exercise. Rearrange these sentences in the right order to form sentences. Circle the objects and write T if the verbs are transitive and IT if the verbs are intransitive. Punctuate your sentences correctly. So you should do rearrange these sentences and if it is transitive verb, you should write T and IT for intransitive verb and use needful punctuations. Pause the video, do it and come back. Hope you all finished. Let us check the answers. Diana is a novel reading. Rearrange the sentence to Diana is reading a novel. Novel is an object, so this is a transitive verb. Second one. Her grown mother has a walk for with a friend. Her mother has gone for a walk with a friend. This is an intransitive verb. Third one, pasta we salad ate dinner for. Answer is we ate pasta salad for dinner. This is a transitive verb. Pasta salad is object. Fourth one, dog kennel sleeping the is in the. The dog is sleeping in the kennel. This is an intransitive verb. Next one, drawing picture arm a i. The answer is I am drawing a picture. This is a transitive verb. The object is picture. Sixth one, stopped laptop working my house. And the answer is my laptop has stopped working. This is an intransitive verb. Seventh one, appreciated audience exhibition the extra day, the. And the answer is the audience appreciated the exhibition yesterday. This is also an intransitive verb. Eighth one, you watching what so are attentively. The answer is what are you watching so attentively. And this is also an intransitive verb. Hope all the answers are correct. We can move to the next exercise. Underline the direct objects and circle the indirect objects in these sentences. Pause the video, do it and come back. Hope you all done. We can check the answers. Father took us for a long drive in his new car. Here, us is the indirect object. Second, the injured man thanked the stranger for helping him. Here, stranger is the direct object. Third one, I bought mother a bunch of roses. Here, mother is the indirect object and bunch of roses is the direct object. Fourth one, the teacher handed over the answer script to the students. Here, answer script is a direct object and students are the indirect object. Fifth one, the passengers boarded the train quickly. Here, the train is a direct object. Sixth one, the wise man gave the youngsters some valuable advice. Here, youngsters are the indirect object and the advice is the direct object. Save some money every month. Here, money is a direct object. Eighth one, Myra gifted a beautiful bracelet to her sister. Here, bracelet is a direct object and her sister is an indirect object. Hope all the answers are right. We can move to the next exercise that is punctuation. Punctuate these sentences correctly by putting commas wherever necessary and rewrite them. Pause the video, do it and come back. Hope you all done. We can check the answers. Seeing the stranger ringing the doorbell, the dog started barking loudly. Here we can put the comma 
after double. So you know the rules of punctuation. This is an adverbial expression. That is why we put the comma after double. Second one, he was disappointed to see the scores, but he did not lose heart. Here we put the comma after scores. This is also an adverbial expression. Third one, Annie, can I borrow your pen to complete this composition? Here the comma is coming after the name. Annie, can I borrow your pen to complete this composition? Fourth one, Brenda, not Bida, was responsible for breaking the ways. Here we put comma after the names. Fifth one, the shopkeeper spoke to the customers politely and handed over the items needed always with a smile on his face. Here the comma is coming after needed. This is also an adverbial expression. Next one, if you do not complete these course on time, you will not able to make it to the theater. And here the comma is coming after time. This is also an adverbial expression. Next one, the problems that Susan has come up with, I think are really serious. Here we put the comma after with and I think. Next one, yes, father did promise to take us to the new restaurant in town this weekend. The answer is we put comma after S. This is a mild exclamation. That is why we put comma after S. Hope all the answers are correct. We can move to the next exercise that is listening. Listen to a passage about the way monkeys and frogs communicate and tick the correct options. The croaking of the frog sounds very loud to us. Frogs have to compete with the loud signals produced by other animals. However, there are frogs that communicate only through ultrasound. Their frequency is too high for human ear to hear. Monkeys are not only able to communicate in a complex manner, but also understand basic grammar rules. It sounds incredible, doesn't it? For example, tamarins understand grammar patterns and communicate with each other through whistling sound whenever they are separated from the group. The discovery that monkeys can understand grammar is an interesting one that leaves the door open to many more startling facts yet to be unraveled in animal communication. This is a homework for you. Listen the passage carefully, do it and send it through Teams. We can move to the next exercise that is speaking. How do you feel when you see an animal being used for entertainment and recreation? Have a class discussion on this topic and express your views clearly. Substantiate your points with suitable examples to make your argument convincing and get your classmates thinking. So this is an exercise for you. You think, mark your opinions about the animals which are used for entertainment and recreation. So you can discuss it with your siblings or your parents and mark your thoughts with suitable examples. Make an audio clip and send it through Teams. Moving to the next one, it is writing. You being an animal lover, feel disturbed to see the stray dogs suffering on the roads and being teased by people. Write a letter to the district magistrate to bring to his or her notice the plight of stray animals and requesting him or her to take prompt action in this matter. Make some suggestions which can be implemented to improve the lot of these stray animals. So write a formal letter addressing the district magistrate. You already learned the process of writing a formal letter. Once you finish, you upload it through Teams. So we are completing the chapter 3 in workbook. Complete the exercise listening, speaking and writing. That's all for today. We'll meet you in the next class. Till then, goodbye.